You're listening to Rima Radio. Kids for Kids Nation Building Program is a platform for kids to understand the importance of using entrepreneurial skills to innovate solutions to social issues. It's Malaysia's first nation building program developed for kids towards the sustainable development goals set by the United Nations. Support the children on November 23rd, 6 p.m. at the Palace Golden Horses to watch these amazing kids reveal their entrepreneurial ideas and thereafter a charity dinner to reveal the winners vying to be kidpreneurs. Tickets are priced at 300 ringgit per head and 3,000 ringgit per table. For more information, go to bit.ly forward slash K4K Superheroes. If you're between the ages of 12 to 18, and are interested in learning the bass? Here's an opportunity for you. Mega Music World is offering a one-year bass scholarship starting January 2020. The key objective of this initiative is to contribute to society and promote awareness of bass as well as fill the need of bassists among churches. Find out more at mmw.my. Next week's midweek service word is from Angela Kong, shared in Church of Praise, Ipo, entitled, Keep Your Heart. Listen to that and other sermons at raymarad.io or anywhere else you get your podcasts. And now for this week's interview with Poven Go. Hi, you're listening to Rayma Radio, the weekly podcast on faith, culture, music and more. I'm Darren Yeo, your host. Now, where would you go if you wanted to, uh, if you wanted your children to learn a musical instrument or uh, do their theory, uh, buy an instrument or maybe participate in a youth talent competition, uh, maybe gain live performance experience, get consultation or even rent a venue? Well, I have here in the studio with me today, uh, Mr. Poven Go. Hi, Poven. Welcome hey, to the hi, show. Hi, hi, Darren. Hi. <laughs> thanks, thanks for having me here. Well, well, it's our pleasure. Yeah. Uh, just a little bit about your background. Poven Go is actually okay. the managing director and founder of Mega Music World, and uh, he has been working in the, the music industry for how long? For like I guess twenty-five years, I think. Wow, twenty-five <laughs> years. You. Uh, I understand that you took up uh, music at the age of 16? Oh yeah, yeah, pretty late, yeah. Okay, but well, look where you have come so far. Yeah. So it uh, doesn't mean that you start late. Yeah. There's, you know, there's always hope. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I'm the living proof. <laughs> living proof, cool. Um, so you've been involved in uh, uh, music performance. You're a performer, singer, mm-hmm. uh, and production for 10 years. Mm-hmm. And, um, and we'll talk about the Mega Music World, the company oh, all, that you right, set up. Right, all right. Um, and you've been a vocal talent for commercials, a musician. Yeah. Uh, you've been a recording artist. Uh, and uh, you you've were also involved in competitions. I understood uh, that you are... Uh, you came in as a runner-up in the Guinness Kento Rock. Oh, that was like, yeah, long, <laughs> long time ago. Band competition. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm just looking at your uh, um, list of achievements here and it's just very long. So I'm oh, not going yeah, to go through yeah, it. You can but, skip most of that. <laughs> but I understand that you have uh, a fair bit of experience uh, oh. in the music industry in Malaysia. Yeah. So why don't you just tell us a little bit about uh, what mega music world is okay and you know how it came about to be uh, all right all right um we started mega music world in year 2013 um at a time um paul wong brother paul wong he came to me we we, we were friend um we wasn't that close uh but he suddenly came to me and then he he uh he apologized you know for i don't know why he apologized <laughs> that he he say he changed you know he he accepted God and uh, mm. he, he, he really changed trust me you know, I keep on saying that I, wow. I, I you know so I was a bit of shock and uh, and uh, I think yeah he, he, he really changed oh. <laughs> you know having having that kind of conversation mm. so um, right away he told me that he, he had a vision that he want to start a, a, a music school right so he he asked me whether I want to come on board or not uh, to join him as partner Mm -hmm. then we say yes both say yes after two weeks we we, we start right away wow yeah 
after two weeks or after two weeks we, we didn't within the second week we, we already start to looking at places right and then in two weeks time he we we lock down deposit right. and okay we start right away you know and this was in uh, when was this in the year in the year 2013 okay yeah wow nice yeah cool and uh, so what happened after that you started up um, so basically mega music world is a music school yeah it's a music school <laughs> uh, music retail right and a music venue okay yeah at that time because we have a small uh, auditorium right and we also ha- have a couple of uh, jamming studio okay and of course uh, a lot of uh, individual practice room okay yeah that's and why we so call people it. can uh, rent these rooms and use it yeah yeah and um, so it looks like you've got uh, like a three-in-one kind of a, a, oh, yeah. a, a, a business here yeah that's right uh, so what do you, what was the objective or goal or purpose the main main objective is to um, uh, uh, create more uh, talent right. uh, to be able to surf in uh, everywhere basically. Right. Okay. So um, that's uh, the the primary target. We prep student to be able to to do that. Okay. Yeah, uh, that's it's a primary target. The secondary target is to prep them in order to be able to embark in musical career. Okay. Yeah. And and I I mean there are some people who say oh there's no career in music in Malaysia you yeah. know I have to go to Singapore I heard Hong that Kong. a lot oh. I mean what what <laughs> what what's your comment on that I, my comment it's uh that they in in a matter of fact there are a lot of um, musician who really made it out there right okay I I can name a few can I name a few um, yeah sure yeah like <laughs> let's say uh, John Thomas right. Martin Ngim you right. know uh, you know p- people like uh, Wagner, Daniel. Right. Okay. You know they 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 do well. They've done Aub- well. Aubrey Suito. Right. You know? So yeah, this these are the people. Be- be- it, the name doesn't sound common. It's because they are musician. They are behind the scene people. But yet they've or made a name for themselves locally as well as overseas. Interne- yeah, internationally. internationally. Yeah. Because and a lot of people like uh, doesn't aware doesn't know mm. that uh, a lot of uh, Taiwan and Hong Hong Kong artists, right? They like to use Malaysian musician. Wow, yeah, a lot of them they like to do that. The reason is because Malaysian are very versatile musically, right? And uh, another reason is we we can speak all kind of language. That's true. Yes, <laughs> so yes, multilingual. It's so, it's so easy for yeah. them to bring bring us along for a world tour. Right. You know, right. You know, wherever they, they go, we can we, we can survive. Yeah. We get we can get on our own. Right. So that's why um they are favor they are they are they favor Malaysian wow. musician okay. rather than they are and we can eat all sorts of food as well. No yeah, problem. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I got a lot of friends who are, are touring musician. Right. So they they really made it out there. Okay. So there is a future in music yeah. in Malaysia. Yeah. And it's not as uh, you know uh, negative as what some people might. Yeah, yeah. It's just to be. we just couldn't. The, the, I mean the, the 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 public couldn't see it okay in in uh, that angle right yeah cool um, so basically you have uh, uh, set up a music school um, so what do you do um, what do they, what do you teach what kind of services do you offer oh, we s- we offer a music lesson primary primarily uh, modern Western music lesson right. like okay. uh, like a guitar drum okay. keyboard violin piano right. wow. um, classical and contemporary okay um, as, as well as vocal and uh, music production right um, apart from that uh, this is uh, uh, education is one of our service okay second service that we provide is actually retail right we do sales uh, uh, musical instrument okay and the third uh, uh, third uh, kind of service is uh, we do sound uh, sound project like oh. sound design installation. So you do consultation as well as uh, yeah supply, uh, supply consultation. Oh, okay, that's yeah. very Fixture, very good. Fixture that kind of thing. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, so looks like you've got you know a, a lot on your plate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, providing all but this, the, but the main is always the education. Right. And uh, so you are also doing when we talk about education uh-huh. uh, we are looking at uh, things like the uh, exams for ABRSM and uh-huh. rock school as well yeah okay cool right um, okay and uh, we'll take a break at oh, this right. point and we'll yep. come back in just a bit Ooh, 
Hi, I'm Anna Rajan and I'm from Holy Trinity Bukit Bintang. Uh, my favorite Bible verse is Psalm 61 verse 2. When my heart is overwhelmed and weak, lead me to the rock that is higher than I. Hi, welcome back to Rayma Radio. I'm Darren Yeo, your host. And I'm here in the studio uh, with Poven Go, who Hi. is the Managing Director and Founder of Mega Music World. Hi, Poven. Yeah, hello. And uh, we were just talking about uh, the products and services oh, that yeah. uh, your company offers. Yeah. Uh, you know, from um, learning an instrument to vocals yeah. uh, to sound design and consultation. Um we also, I, I also understand that you uh, do a little bit of a, uh, a training in that sense with your students mm-hmm. uh, in terms of enhancement, things mm-hmm. like recitals or uh, recording, field trips, concerts. Mm. Can maybe you want to tell us a little bit about what oh, yeah. you do with yeah. that? Yeah, Le- learning learning music it's uh, it's very time consuming uh, activity. So um, I think uh, a lot a lot of um, people, I mean, a lot of students. Like in in this trend right now, you mm. know, in in this fast paced trend right now, mm. they don't have that that kind of patience. Okay. So, um, therefore, we uh, design all sort of uh, recital, okay. recital in our premises, recital in shopping mall, mm-hmm. recital in uh, cafe sometimes. Okay. You know, so so that they they they, they are more uh, into it. They they have to be more committed because it's a it's a real thing you know right. it's a big deal <laughs> so okay. yeah cool. apart from that we we also bring in uh, some professional musician or artists you know to come and 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 give some um, uh, lecturing and or workshop okay so that uh, they they learn more and they they get connected uh, right. uh, directly with them okay yeah. and and so basically. It is like uh, exposing them yeah, to exposing what's out them. there, yeah. right? Uh, yeah. From not just performance, but you know, meeting the people, mm, mm, uh, mm. people who are actually involved in the industry. Yeah, uh, I think that's we, very yeah. good. That's why we, we also do field trip, right? Uh, once in a while, we do field trip. We go we go visit. We bring students to go visit a uh, recording studio, mm-hmm. and uh, and uh, let them see how how it's done. And uh, I think last year we went to Astro. Okay. We went to Astro and right. we went to Goswen uh, FM. Right. And then they uh, we we do we play music live and uh, get some interviews and wow. do do that. <laughs> and I'm sure your your students must have been excited. Yeah, they are terrified. <laughs> <laughs> terrified. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That time I I uh, we have to you know call call a, a field teacher to join in. Right. A few right. more teachers to join in to to ease the the tension. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, I think. Uh, uh, it was a good experience for them. It was a very, very good experience. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that that's something that I think is uh, I, I get an experience that money can't buy. Oh yeah, in terms yeah, of, yeah. Of what you would learn from there, um, I do understand that you have two um, annual uh, events that happens. Okay. Uh, yeah. One is uh, the competition, vocal competition. Uh, actually, it's a music, music competition. The Rising Star. Yeah. And you have one more which is called... The Dream Concert. Can you maybe tell us about... Okay. The, about it? the Dream Concert uh, was created for... It's it's considered a part of our annual uh, student concert. Okay. But we always held it in Megastar Arena. Right. A very big uh, uh, concert venue which uh, run... You know, so they, they, they get to feel the, the, the big stage and right. everything run by the professional people. Mm. So it's yeah, uh, it's really a big deal for the student. Okay. And then we also like 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 invite the the professional musician or mm-hmm. artist okay. uh, to to you know, to be the guest performer. Oh, okay. So be, beside they themselves get to perform, they, mm-hmm. they can, you know, see the real deal. Right. Then Rising Star, it's actually a competition. Okay. <laughs> actually, Rising Star, we, we, we open, it's an open public competition okay. uh, below uh, 21 years old. All right. So uh, basically, music comp- competition, that means you can do whatever musically. Okay, so yeah, you singing or you have band as well. Yeah, you can sing. You can you can play as a band. You can play you know solo piano, solo drum, wow. you know. Okay. Or you can you know play and sing, <laughs> and yeah, anything goes. And you get uh, you have prizes. So I mean, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have we have. I prizes. read on your web- website up to ten thousand ringgit. 
uh, this <laughs> year we are very very blessed because uh-huh. uh, um, a few uh, big uh, company they, right. they they sponsors us. Wow. Um, so uh, the 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 main the main sponsor is actually Leisure Mall. Okay. And then uh, following up with. Uh, uh, Farm fresh, the right. milk. Okay, <laughs> drink milk and you'll sing well. <laughs> yeah. So they yes, and uh, yeah, and a lot of lot more company they they, right. they sponsor some you know so that we we have that you know okay. capital to to run the event. Wow, that's good. That's yeah, really really, good. really good blessed. Support. Blessed. Right. Um. So Rising Star is open to public. Yeah, open public from anywhere in Malaysia. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, and uh. That happens every year. How long have you been running things like the Dream Concert and Rising Star? Oh, we, we usually we alternate Dream Concert, Rising Star, oh, Dream Concert, Rising uh, Star. But look, most likely, uh, Rising Star will will be a yearly thing already. Okay. Because okay. uh because the Leisure Mall they they they, they demand that. Oh okay. <laughs> they, they, so they, it's part of their. They say they say it's really cool. Okay, what wow. you what you've been doing it's mm-hmm. nice. Mm-hmm. Okay. Can you do it again? <laughs> you know, next week, next year they they already you know ask us to do that. Well, that's so a it's great really, opportunity. Really, really good. Yeah. Crazy. Okay. More, yeah. More activity for for the nice. music student. We were just earlier talking about um, you know music and the, mm. the current uh, music industry and mm-hmm. uh, you know the opportunities. What else could a person or somebody who, who's who studied music and mm-hmm. or wants to study music and then he's trying wondering hey, what can I do besides play instrument or play in a band? Oh, what other opportunities are there in in Malaysia? Oh, I see. Okay, you you see, like like me, like myself, I was a performing musician. Then in at the age of thirty, I become a, a marketeer right. for a, a, a couple of uh, brand. Okay, so I I still. In the music, right? But I'm marketing musical instruments. instruments. Okay. So, I'm still in the music, right? And then I also, you know, do some uh, production. Sometimes uh, I do some jingles. Okay. I'm still in the music, but right. I'm not a frontliner anymore. Right. So you're in, still working <laughs> in the music industry. Yeah. But not a, a on stage performing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. yeah. So okay. uh, until the point that until I start up Mega Music, I become teacher. Right. I'm still in music. Music line. So you see, <laughs> the music actually it opened up a lot more right. opportunity. Okay. Like uh, I believe that you also know music, right? right. Yep. <laughs> yes. A DJ, you know, should okay. know music as well. Right. I guess, right? Correct. Um, Correct. Yeah. Some. Yeah. That. That's what. That's what I mean. Okay. I mean a lot. A lot of students they 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 like music they learn right but not everyone they want to become the frontliner correct a performer yeah like they want to become the the person behind so the you scene you can do things like uh, compose music for jingles commercials yeah yeah film scoring jingles mm-hmm. commercials I think uh, one one thing is quite popular now uh, these days like the mm-hmm. uh, game. Games, oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Games. yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Music scores for yeah, for scores for games, games yeah. for yeah, big deal. Yes, it's a big deal. That's what I yeah. understand. Wow. Yeah. Okay, so you know, not really just one thing or a dead end. That's uh, right. There's so many other opportunities That's that right. that can be explored. And you probably advise your students when they come in. They, I'm sure a lot of your students come in. They have, you know, big dreams uh-huh. or they have you know uh, mm-hmm. things that they want to achieve. How does that uh, work work with you? That's why we expose them to all all this um, uh, uh, all this career, this type of career, right? So that they 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 can choose, they can get their heart ready for that. Mm. Okay, yeah. okay. So let's say mm. uh, you know I'm looking out to send my kids to a place uh-huh. for these opportunities. Why would I choose Mega <laughs> Music World? All right, it's a bit of hard sell yeah. but anyway, uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But there must hard. be. You've been running for six, six years now. Yeah, seven. Six, yeah. seven years. Yeah. So in that, in those seven years, uh, what has come out of all this? Oh, you can tell us. You know. I think. Uh, okay, we are very. Okay, beside l- learning the, the the conventional way, we always put them put the student together. Right. For example, like drum student. Hmm. We put them together with the bass student, okay. the guitar student, right. so to 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 learn as a band, right. okay. or to to perform as one band. Right, you pair them off. Yeah, we pair them together, okay. and then okay, you you guys, okay, you guys work together. So when they when they work together, right. that the you you can see that 
um, you know, at the beginning, a little bit awkward, you know, um, you know, and then they start to complain each other, and then after the second time, it soon turns out okay, mm. and then after three or four times, they can become best friend wow. suddenly. So, uh, that's the magic of music. Right. It, it can really like bring people together, connect them together. It's just amazing. Right. So we, we we do that really really often. And, and, then okay. uh, student won't be so boring and right. and the progress is really fast. And they won't drop out so fast. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's always it's always good to have yeah. a friend or somebody involved together with you yeah. to be able to enjoy that same experience. That's, that's right. Uh, I understand that uh, you have uh, received, uh, for example, Asian Outstanding Business Award. Oh. Masterclass in Music Development 2017. Yeah. Uh, you've had uh, 120 students who have passed uh, your graded exams. Yeah. And uh, seven of them <laughs> scored the highest in rock school. Yeah. Yeah. And what else have you done? You got, you, oh, okay, you just got awarded. Is that right? Uh, rock School UK Ambassador. Oh, just uh, last Monday. Last yeah, month. we just got wow. awarded. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah. An achievement. Uh, yeah. And seven of your teachers have received Rock School Dedicated Teacher Award. Yeah, yeah. Awarded wow. by uh, this person, John, John Simpson. He's a CEO of Rock School wow. UK. Okay. Yeah. And uh, you must be very. Proud. Oh, I'm very proud. <laughs> I didn't expect that the you know the the the, the thing is big. You know the all right. Old. Cool. Um, we're going to take a break now, and right. when we come back, we will continue on a little bit more about uh, Mega Music World. Okay. Uh, together with me is Poven Go. Thank you. We'll be right back. See ya. Hi, my name is uh, Tasha Gunasilan and um, I will be praying for the Christian artists in the industry. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you. Thank you that you have called a certain number group of us uh, to be in this industry, a Lord Jesus, the arts industry, an industry that's really close to your heart, a Lord Jesus. And Lord, you know the discouragement, the difficulties, the financial situation, sometimes the disbelief that we have a Lord Jesus. And Lord, I pray for these people that you guard their hearts a Lord Jesus. You encourage them, you give them inspiration, you open their doors a Lord Jesus. You you really instill the purpose that you called this group of people out a Lord Jesus to do. And Lord, Lord, I pray that you will just fulfill the purpose. At the end of the day, Lord, I thank you. I thank you that you will complete the work that you've started in each and every single artist that is in this industry, a Lord God. Lord, thank you for the favour that you will grant them. Thank you, Lord, for the open doors, a Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that we use every story that they tell, a Lord Jesus, to encourage the many. It will be water to their soul, to the audience souls a lot, to the world's souls a lot, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Bless you. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we ask and pray. Amen. Hi, welcome back to Rayma Radio. I'm your host, Darren Yo, and in the studio with me, I have Poven Go, who is the founder and managing director of Mega Music World. And we are talking about, mm. uh, you know, his music school uh, uh, and, you know, what he does, what he's been doing yeah. and inspiring young people uh, in the music industry. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> cool. So, Poman, we, went, we were talking about, uh -huh. um, you know, how you have all your um, students working together uh -huh. uh, and, you know, how excited they are. Yeah. Uh, what, you know, what... what are the other things that has has come out of this whole uh, uh, work that you've been doing uh, in terms mm -hmm. of maybe ministry wise in the ministry wise um of course we uh, train train them up to be able to serve that's the the priority right. that you know um but we also um brought a lot of our students to to accept Christ wow and uh because uh, you know, teenager, you right. know, at that that age is very you know vulnerable. You know, there are ups and downs. So, mm. so it's it's easy for us to 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 just come in to to help them up, to lift them up, to give them the, the direction. Right. Um. We we are, we are we are also very blessed to to have like most of our teacher is is also Christian. Right. Uh. One of them are are, are even a pastor. She's a pastor. Wow. So. She she 
she she taught us you know the you know she uh, uh ways you know to deal with things yeah. mm. so uh yeah basically basically even though yeah I, i'm the business owner but but we we learn from each other right because the the teacher is it's our valuable asset mm-hmm. yeah okay so you uh, basically what you're saying is uh, apart from you know having a music school educating you mm. know equipping uh, your students mm. um, out of that has come uh, the 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 opportunity for mm. you to share the gospel mm, you yeah. to reach out to young people and which puts you in a very good position mm, uh, yeah. because <laughs> maybe in 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 any other situation these young people may not have had a chance to uh you know uh, yeah you know have been yeah. in contact with with the gospel that's But, right that's right all right because uh yeah of course they you know not not everyone like that open Correct. heart Correct. so uh, so that's why if if because we we're seeing them every week right slowly we we um the re- relationship yes. mm-hmm. can, you know uh, built up and right. uh, yeah they 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 sometimes they follow us to okay. to go makan makan right. go here and there watch concert and mm-hmm. all these things mm-hmm. you know so uh, they they know that we are christian basically right we don't have to tell them right away in right. our face but they know and then mm. they they know that we we are, we we are le- you know okay have a having a healthy Lifestyle, lifestyle right so they they also want that so basically they <laughs> see they see uh something good something that yeah, they something want something good yeah right yeah something right. good that's amazing that's so amazing so, yeah wow we also do like uh having have cell group okay in our premises right basically every week we 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 con- we have a oh. cell group there and and you have some uh pre believers who join you as well mm, yeah 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 oh, well, that's yeah. amazing yeah All right. Um I understand that you uh are launching a base scholarship is mm. mm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Oh, okay. Okay, we know that uh in uh, in the market, not only in the church, <laughs> in churches, uh basically in the market, uh not many people like to pursue in uh bass instrument. Okay. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but it's very important to have Right. To have bass in in the in the band, okay. especially in the worship band, right. so nobody want to play bass. Right. So that's why uh, plenty of piano students, plenty l- of guitar. No, not plenty. Too much too of many. piano. <laughs> too many. Too right. many piano students. Okay. Everybody, yeah, want to play piano, but no, nobody want to play bass. bass right. So, the, that's why we uh, we 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 did a couple of um, event to to promote bass. And then at one time we we got an idea to like uh, what about we offer a scholarship? Okay. So we we did once in 2015. Right. Uh, I would say that it wasn't very successful because uh, the most of them are drop drop out. Oh, okay. You know, halfway drop out. Wow. So it's it's a two year contract, mm. two year of free base lesson right. and guaranteed a rock school exam. Right. But still drop still out. Still drop out. Okay. So I think. Never mind, but uh, now we think it's time to do it again. So you want to relaunch this? We uh, want to, yeah. Opportunity of a base scholarship. That's right. All right. And open, open to public, and uh, yeah, we want to, we want to create that awareness okay. again. So how would people uh, uh, get? I'm uh, sorry. How would people find out more information if they if they want to, oh. if they're interested in this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We haven't launched yet, right. but uh, uh, I guess uh, you. The easiest way is to follow us on uh in Instagram or, or Facebook. Facebook. Okay. Yeah, our name is Mega Music World. Okay, all right. Uh, I guess uh we are going to launch very soon, soon. in this month. Okay. So uh, we'll keep an eye out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep an eye on. Keep an eye out for those of you who are interested in uh, getting a base scholarship. Mm. Two years. Mm. Okay, and well, I I think that's as much time as we have for now. Right. Um so as a closing point um Apoven yeah what advice would you give to a young person or anyone mm-hmm. who is interested in pursuing a career in music in this country Okay I think my advice would be um you got to love what you're doing you got to be very disciplined and very patient Right because um I I guess music is like It's like sport. Okay. You gotta you gotta practice. You gotta do it every mm-hmm. day, and then you 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 do uh, to 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 improve your skills, to em- enhance you know everything, your senses. Right. So, uh, 
and uh, you also required to develop the, the, the you know to have the right etiquette attitude attitude yeah in 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 music okay so that uh, yeah then you you'll be able to you know okay. go go that's on that's good that's good uh, again we have here with in the studio with me uh Poven Go the founder and managing director of Mega Music World uh, and if you are interested to get more information you can go to their website which is www.mmw.my or you can email ask as in ask at mmw.my uh, and so thank you Bowen, thank for, you for coming having me in. yeah it's been a pleasure <laughs> thank you Darren we'll thank you. you thank you very much this is Darren Yeo for Rema Radio Still believe 
What if we trust God in everything? Won't God He show us greater things? This segment's song is from Chan Lei On. Do connect with us at facebook.com slash rhemarad.10. Comment, like and share our weekly show so we can do more. Contact us at hello at rhemarad.io. We would love to hear from you. Listen to all past shows by searching Rayma Radio on the following apps, Spotify, iTunes, Google Podcasts, SoundCloud, or anywhere else you get your podcasts. This episode was audio edited and mixed by Jonathan Yeo. Thank you for listening to this week's episode. God bless you. I found it on Rayma Radio.